Hi, welcome to my video. My name is Linda Kittle and today I'm going to share another part of my digital uh, budget planner with you. Uh, my previous video shared with you how to edit and add in information on the overview sheet. But today what we're going to look at is the yearly tracker. Now, I've already very briefly explained who I am and what I do in my previous video. But just to recap, my husband and I are both retired and we're living at home and every penny counts. <laughs> um, I'm a visual user. I like to see what's going on and this helps me so much. And I just wanted to share that with you. I will add links in the um information box um, underneath the video so that you can hop from one video to another or you know feel free to go onto my youtube channel and have a little look now we've already put all our average did all our average information and we've already put all our main headings and they've all gone in automatically um, into the data fields do not touch the black figures, do not touch the black text. It's purely all about the blue. Now, when I go to my bank account, um, we both have digital banking. So it's really easy for me to monitor what's going on in my bank. Um, as soon as my husband gets paid, I put in the data in this field. Then as soon as he gets his second pension, I put the data in this field. Then... Um, when I get paid, I put in the data in this field. Do you get the plan? <laughs> so obviously this is in columns of month by month. And as soon as it's gone through the bank, I put it through to say it's gone. We've done it uh, for testing purposes only. On my previous video, you'll see um, I did that just so that you could see a changes. Now, as your months go through, obviously, um, you just put your figures in. I want to? These are all fictitious, by the way. Um, I'm doing this just very quickly to share with you um, how the planner works. Um, now, I'm going to pretend I'm getting a pay rise in April so that you can see. There we go. So April, get a pay rise. Let's go to 3000. Perfect. Okay, uh, 2,000, lovely, 2,000, oh, 2, I'm being very greedy, aren't I? So it's just to let you see <clears throat> that month by month, you need to put this data in so that you can see the changes. Now, on the bottom is the totals, and the formula for that is just literally adding up what's above. And then if you go to the right here is what's happening um, on sample main one and then main two and then second and so on and so forth and this figure here is all those totals put together so by December by the end of December you'll see exactly how much came in as an income at the end of the year and that's exactly how each and every one of these um, categories work. The minute you put data in, let's pretend that you've been using fuel um, 200, uh, coffee 10, lunches, so on. Yeah. So you will put this data in as it comes through and as you use it through your bank account. Then underneath, I've added a little bit because I like to monitor my uh, low priority sinking funds as well. It's just something that visually is helpful to see at any one time. For simple purposes, what I do is when I make my blank wallets, when I fill my blank wallets, I actually copy the data over. And let's have a look at total low priority sinking funds. So this data here, this is the totals that I've used for each week. So each week I will put a certain amount into an envelope um, as specified here, I've said 10, and the total comes to that. And what I do is I just copy that and I go back to the yearly and I tap paste and paste the values and there we are. Pure copy of what I've used in my blank wallet in my monthlies 
All right, and you can do the same with your penny challenges. So each month you're going to do a blank wallet and you're going to total up <clears throat> all your figures. And this bit here, so if you have a look, it says actual totals. So this is a copy of everything that you've actually used. You can just tap, whoops, tap, scroll that down, copy, yearly tracker, tap and paste. We don't want the formulas because you get gobbledygook. We do want the values. There we are. And that is how you fill that. It's just as you go, complete it, um, fill in the gaps as it, and when it arises. Um, that's it. Hope that was helpful for you. My next video will be covering the blank wallets and I'll give you a little bit further detail about that. I think out of all of the videos, the blank wallets is probably the more complex, uh, maybe a little bit longer. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful.